Hello everyone, Phil Fleming here. I thought I'd give you an update on some more work I've done on Google Sheets to build a portfolio management tool. We call this version uh, version 5. So what's been done is the layout's been simplified, put everything for one list on one sheet. A new menu's been added along the top line to uh, simplify and speed up tasks of adding stocks, deleting stocks, adding and removing hyperlinks. We've also enhanced the, the section of the spreadsheet that uh, captures the track record and also show you how to copy the sheet for use with the new lists. Okay, so this is how a spreadsheet with uh, one list looks. It's only got one tab. Just to show you the layout, if we uh, pull back a bit, zoom out to 50%, we can see the different parts of the, the spreadsheet. Up in these top, in this top area, is the list of stocks that we've put in this particular sheet and all the imported information and data. Below, starting at line 97, is historical data that's pulled in for each, uh, for each share. We don't have to worry about this, it can take care of itself. So the different areas, the first block on the left is the input data, where we uh, input uh, stock names, the quantities, opening price, start value, and then we can calculate the day. In this section here, is the, the data that's Im imported from Google Finance. This is per calculated performance data in the blue text. This is the historical data that's pulled in. A change in a share over one week, two weeks, one month, three months, six months. This section further to the right captures the, the history from the last 60 days. And this is all pulled in from that block of historical data below, starting at line 97. Coming across, this is where we uh, can put in stop losses and targets. We could put in stop loss of, say, 8%. Seems to be a popular number nowadays. Just copy this down. And then the same for the targets, we can put in different numbers for different targets after having looking for looked at a graph of a particular stock. Again, this isn't uh, this isn't the answer to uh, all our problems with uh, investing. This is just a way to highlight the changes in the stock and tell us which stocks need to be looked at in, in greater detail, going back into VectorVest and looking at fundamentals and, and looking at the analytic graphs. Further right, we've got uh, volume data, so we can see changes, big changes in a day, which stocks are particularly active. If that number's over 100%, then that means that uh, there's more activity in particular stock. We need to take a closer look. Furthest to the right here is the area where we capture the track record, and this is automatically updated by scripts. At, uh, between 10 and 11 at night when the spreadsheet's closed and goes down vertically. It has no relation to these rows across the way. It's This is the value for the, the portfolio as a whole. Of course, we can also uh, graph these, these numbers, and I'll show you an example of that later. Okay, so let's have a look at the menu. This is the, the new menu that's been added. This is added automatically when the the Google Sheet is opened, and these these menu items refer to scripts that we've added. So if we wanted to add it a UK stock, say, we just click on that. This is the first time I've used this sheet, so I have to give it permission to uh, to run the script. Allow. So that's authorized the script to run, and that's something you must do if you copy the spreadsheet. So if we add a UK stock, let's put uh, AHT, which I think is Ashdit. 
it's going to ask me for the quantity I bought. Let's see, 100. And it's going to ask me the unit cost price paid. I don't know the, the price of ash dead, so let's take a guess at 200 pence. What you see has happened is uh, a line has been added for Ashted. All of the rows have been populated. And if we go down to the import of historical data, we'll see that a line's been added for Ashted at the bottom there. If we wanted to now delete that stock, let me get back. I need to pick any cell on Ashted row. Delete a stock. Yes. It's all deleted both here and down in the historical data. Once it finds it. And we're back to where we were before. We can remove the hyperlinks from all the stocks here. Remove link. If I wanted to put them back in, I just add hyperlinks. It has to pop down one at a time, but uh, that said, it doesn't take too long. So right click, convert to links, job done. So what we could do is uh, add scripts that added hyperlinks to, to different places like Investors Chronicle or Hargreaves Lansdowne, AJ Bell, whatever we fancied. Okay, this is an example of where a chart's been added to uh, to, to plot the, the increase, hopefully, of the port value through time. It's done by highlighting the data and then clicking on this graph insert chart. So the chart can either sit here in the main sheet or it can be placed as a separate chart in a separate tab. If we were to update the data, have the data for uh, 3rd February, then the graph automatically updates. The last thing I was going to show you was uh, copying a file to to use with, with new new lists, new sheets. Simply file, make a copy, give it a new name. And that's a new file, and off you go. You can uh, obviously you want to delete the the shares that are there already because you don't want them. But uh, first, you should put in a couple of new ones because the the process of putting in a new share copies down the formulas from from the old ones, and then you have to run through that process when you uh, attempt to uh, run the menu. I think that's about it. Thank you. Bye.